How's it going? Want to hear a joke? Hilarious. I'm sure you're going to laugh <laughs> because I was laughing. Here I am. Just wanted to play some Red Dead. Start recording. You know, no big deal. Typical, right? It's like this game is playing some sort of sick, cruel joke on me and it is Red Dead depressing. So I started recording what should have been Red Dead Redemption 2 playthrough part 34 or whatever number we're on right now. But so right from the get go, the game was giving me some weird problems where it would freeze and then it'd cut out and then it'd be like, press whatever button to continue. And that was completely breaking my immersion. So I kind of knew I was gonna have to restart the game anyway. But then I got into a quest, was doing the quest, having great fun. It was awesome. We were having a good time. And then I noticed on my mini map that my horse icon, AKA Galadriel, had a little plus sign next to it. And I was like, what? I am in the middle of something. I physically could not stop what I was doing at the time in the middle of a quest that we're gonna redo. I could not stop the middle in the middle of the quest and go revive my horse. So I'm sitting there like, oh, what the f do I do? Fast forward finish the quest. There's the saddle icon on the mini map. I walk over to it. <laughs> Galadriel is right there and she's dead. Uh, funny, right? No. When I saw that, I was faced with one or two, cho one of two choices here. I could either A, uninstall the game because like there was no way I was going to progress through the story with having had that happen. And then B, was I could reload the save to a previous save and just overwrite that, overwrite what just happened, clean slate as if it never happened before and we could redo the quest. And I have chosen to overwrite that save because I'm dead serious when I say there was no going forward. So that is where we're gonna be starting off today. And you know what? It just fits the theme of this damn game which is even more sad because yeah, why not? We've lost this character, this character. We lost Molly last time. Why not? Why not just take Galadriel from me too? Everything's good. I'm, I took the L on that, on that quest and we'll just redo it because frankly, with all of the freezing and the cuts and whatever, the ripping me out of the immersion was going to be awful for the video anyway. So I'm, I'm okay to redo it. It is what it is. I've accepted it. I'm just glad everything's okay now. So thank you guys. I hope that story made you laugh as much as I didn't laugh. It was not funny. There was no laughter to be had. I had to vent and I had to, I had to share that with you because I wasn't gonna carry around that for the rest of my life. I was not about to like hold that in. So thank you guys for being my emotional support audience. I love you so very much. Thank you for being here. And making me feel better today. Pray for me. I hope to go forward in today's video and have nothing like that happen again because I don't know if I could handle it. So with all that being said, let's let's jump back in. Please God. <laughs> all right. Yes. Here we are. At the Murphy's Brood or what was the cave of the Murphy's faction weirdos faction full of weirdos um yeah they're dead so we're back proof that galadriel is still alive because i could not continue on in this life without her i just i couldn't accept that wasn't gonna happen there's a couple things i gotta stop by and do today before we go from point a to point b but i think i remember where to go so everything's fine hello, hello. you the day I've had today, Mary Hi, Beth. Mary Beth. And she's still like, she kept doing this to me last time too. I would say hi, then she would just, no response. How are you doing? This place, it's horrible. Have you seen inside that cave? Yeah, I don't, nope. Don't want to. We're good. <coughs> no! So Javier, okay, I'm so sorry, I did not mean to cough on you. Never better. Dutch! You're breaking his heart. You know that. What did I do? Did he tell you to say this to me, friend? No. <laughs> but I know. Dutch, and that fool at his ear. Oh my god. You're gonna kill every last one of us. 
I see that now. Bless me. I don't know what came over me there. Um, so he's mad at me because I, I mean, I went behind his back, but it was to save our friend John. If that's not loyalty, I don't know what is. Hi, Uncle. Mr. Morgan? How you doing with all this? I ain't doing so good. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yeah, that's all Just I gotta say. keep your fingers crossed. Uh-huh. Gotcha. Uh-huh, gotcha. Mr. Strauss? Um, yes. Uh, hello, Mr. Morgan. Uh, hello. Try to stay calm in all this. I can't believe this is what it's come to. Calm, cool, and collected. That's what we are. That's my middle name. All right, let's go uh, get this letter. How do we... I want to pick it up? Ooh, there we go. Dear sir, you were once very kind to Bo and myself, and it pains me to ask you to show us further kindness. But I have nowhere else to turn and nobody else upon whom I can impose. I will, of course, pay you handsomely for your troubles. My family have turned quite mad and are threatening to send me away to stop my work, which they say is disgracing them. Disgracing. As if their history of absolute moral depravity, utter debauchery, and perpetual drunkenness did not disgrace them enough. I must escape, yet I am kept prisoner here. Can you help? Most days, I am to be found Prisoner. at the cabins on the plantation. The main house and all it stood for are, thankfully, no more. Yours faithfully, Penelope Braithwaite. Oh, we know. We know. It's because of yours, truly. You're very welcome, Penelope. You Ohio hater. Uh-huh. Don't think I've forgotten. Don't think I've forgotten. Hey, Hi. Tilly. Hello, Arthur. Hi, Tilly. I hope you're having a better day. You doing all right? What is going on with you all? You're acting like children. Drama. I'm trying to work it out. Okay, then. Drama llamas. Who's getting bored without drama? Oh, we need a shave, too. Priorities. Trim them chops. Alright. That's done. Now, hopefully, Arthur, praying hello. for smooth gameplay here. Where's Dutch? Susan? Hi, Susan. Mr. Morgan. What do you think we should do about Dutch? He has a lot of pressure on him. Don't forget all he's done for you. Wow, it's so interesting to see, like, the loyalty. Like, there's just cut in half, like... Half the camp, I feel like, thinks that he's just crazy. He lost all of his marbles. And then there's, like, the people that are still unbelievably loyal to him. And I don't think that they can re that he can really do any wrong in his eye in their eyes. Thank you. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Yeah, we're just talking about just that, be actually. I don't have to be careful. I have you as a friend. I'm glad to have her on my side. There's just, there's something about her. There's something about you. You might want to start thinking about where you'll go next. No, no. I ain't about to give up on this. All right. All I said was start thinking. Start thinking. Use that old anyway, noodle. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Yep. All right, let's go talk to Penelope. This Ohioan's gonna 1v1 her. Hello. Hello. Mary Beth. Okay, and I say hi. Nothing, nothing from her. Oh, <gasps> Sadie, hi. Gotta help anyone tries to get past you. Yeah. Hey, Arthur. You seen Mikey and Dutch's ear the whole time? Yeah. He's been stirring up stuff about you and John. I knew it. Oh, don't worry. I can still get through to Dutch. Right. Can you, though? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's hard to try to make up somebody's <laughs> mind when somebody's already made up theirs. Yeah, that made sense, right? Mm-hmm. 
absolutely. <laughs> oh! Holy mother of God, that just scared the Get out of me! Oh, you gonna get it now. Oh my God. You don't almost make me wet my pants to get away with it. <laughs> it's here. Oh shit! What the? Oh, oh you're running for real now! Oh my god! You better be freaking dead. I did not see that. That scared the bejesus out of me. Well played though, oh my god. That was like the weirdest sequences of events there that happened, because in my head with like the way he was shooting his guns, I was like, oh my god, we're about to go all Lara Croft on him. And then and then he, he fell into the trap and like the old Tomb Raider games had like spikes, right? So then I had this vision, this flash in my brain of like him falling into that pit and then just getting impaled. And it made me flinch. So that was what was happening in my brain as all of that was transpiring. I, I had like a separate whole vision going on. <laughs> a separate reality going on in my head that made that whole thing just even more violent than it needed to be. Wow, okay. I don't know why I made the connection to that, but you know, it is what it is. What am I eating? I hope it's not poisonous. Whoops. <coughs> well, he's not dead. He's not dead. Gorma room. Some cheese. Go steal the cheese. You not steal the cheese. I love cheese. Alright. Let's go. Yeah, that, that's new. That didn't happen to me last time, so, <laughs> wow. Alright, let's go. Let's just, let's just get the heck out of here. Right. Yep, I remember finding this. Make sure I get that. Another rock carving down. I think I've only found, like, three. We're not doing too well on these. Yep. Only found three. Yep. I thought that there was more than ten though, so. Yep. Alright, well, that's another one down. Ooh, watching the weather like turn so suddenly here gave me chills. I just feel like it's symbolic for something. Like I just had this overwhelming thought, like a storm's coming. A storm's coming. I am not prepared. Alright, we are back. At the Braithwaite Manor, part three. Or is it four times now? I feel like I've been here four times since having burnt it down. Um, yeah, let's go find Penelope. This Ohioan's got some chatting that she wants to do. All right. Just trying to get here before sundown, but here we are. Here we are. There she is. They need a chaperone now for their love story. Oh, oh, you came. You came. You finally came. I came. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you lovely, lovely man. Uh, oh, down, stop. Yes. You flatter me Oh, come on. So let's much. go. We ain't got a minute to lose. They killed her. They killed Miss Calhoun. All she wanted was a better lot for women, and they killed her, those pigs. Who killed her? I don't know. My cousins, probably, or... Or bows. Well, you met them. They are animals. Not even animals. Monsters. Monsters. If God had lost all his powers of imagination. Can you... Can you please take me to the train station? Bo will be waiting. Bo? Why couldn't he come and rescue you? Well, if they saw me and him together, they'd lynch him and send me off to a nunnery. Or maybe they'd lynch <laughs> us both. I ain't a quite sure. A nunnery, the horror. They do so love hanging folk. Where are you heading? 
Up to Boston. Oh, Boston. Good. Yeah, I like you up there. Come on. Great band. Love Let's go. them. Of course. They're awesome. All right. Now I want to listen to some Boston. Maybe we can listen to it on the way there. I'm in your hands. Just get me to Rhodes Railway Station. We don't have a radio, I okay. guess. I'll just have to sing it, you know. Let's get you a train. Bo's just waiting at the station in the hope you'll show up or I'll show up to help you show up. He goes to there every day he can. Makes up some excuse or other. I said he would see me there one day soon, and today he will. God willing. Well, well. That's some dedication. There, that's true love, all right. I've hardly seen him since the rally. They watched me so carefully, and he's waited, or so his letters say. Our families won't let us out. How are there and then all that still people in your family left? And my cousins. <sighs> you saw the house. Yeah. And then Lee Gray and those boys killed. <sighs> so much bloodshed. I, you think this could be a new beginning? But everyone left alive. They're even more angry. Maybe anger's a complicated thing to let go of. Something yeah, pretty complicated. This awful, awful feud. I would know. Well, I've been hoping. Bo and I have to be better. Our families were here for years and years. Sometimes I feel like we can't just leave death and and pain and ruination behind us. Plenty Why not, though? You have. Probably the best way to Plenty move on. Again. Accept but, it. And just let it go. Yeah. As far as it goes, get out. Don't look back. Make something decent of your lives. He's a good man, isn't he? Bo. There are worse. He, he has high, nice hair. And he's caring and he's strong. <laughs> there he is. He's oh, right there. Him. Will you ride on the train with us a little? Just it's into the my bo. What do you want me to wipe Fine. your butt to when you go to the bathroom? God. Change your diapies, the two of you. You came, you came, what last you came. Cute, though. Bo, my sweet, my best of men. <laughs> oh, I'm hardly a man at all. But I love you, Penelope Braithwaite. <sighs> Sir, how can we ever repay your kindness? Mm, some of them jewels would do just fine. Some of them Bo, jewels. Bo, going to join us. I think we need the support. Please, could you buy the tickets, dear Mr. Morgan? We we can't chance being. I mean, sure, yeah. why not? Thank you. We'll meet you on the platform. I'm your babysitter, your chaperone. I might as well be your sugar daddy too. Can I have three tickets to San Denis, please, sir? San Denis. Uh, of course. Uh, oh, hello, sir. Hello. Hi, Alden. Hope all is well. Yes. Uh, not terribly. Good to see you. Oh, I knew all that was my favorite. Oh, crap. Excuse me, Alden. Get on the train. Get your bags, miss. I got this. I'll take care of this. Come here, Yankee. With pleasure, you goddamn fool. You goddamn fool. Come on, punch me. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you got the first shot, and that's the only shot you're gonna get. You knocked my hat off. You chose death. Oh, you piece of... Yay! Come on. Excuse me. No, Scott! You're not getting off Scott free, Scott. If that is his real name, it doesn't matter. He can fight. Ha! Yeah! Hold on, I'm trying to take out your cousins. Let's go. Your boyfriend's getting one next. Yeah, that's right. Get dead, Scott. Damn it, Scott! That's right. Ian by Scott. Goodbye. Goodbye. All right, all done. 
That is quite a family you've got there, son. I know. Charming to the last. Then again, my uncle used to keep his own half-brother as a slave, so what do you expect? Good manners? My uncle used to say things were better the way they were when he could rape and kill with impunity, and he didn't have to work a day in his life. Both what upstanding people. There's good people in this county, but our families bullied them and drove most of them off. Yeah. Whites as well as blacks, all over this silly feud. Yeah, well... How to life. Oh, my lord. What? The, he's enslaving his family, well, and then her family is locking other family members up in outhouses. Cousins. I think they found out about the jewels. All right, keep your heads down. I'll deal with this. Jewels? I knew you had some damn jewels. Jewels? Ooh. Ooh, raw one. Raw barrel. All the jewels in the state, how many cousins do you have? And I thought I had a large family. No horse! No! What are you doing? Get away! Galadriel, go! Flee! Stop! I don't know. You cannot have a repeat of last time, because I cannot proceed. I think she, she needs to get away. She needs to stay away from the freaking train. I don't want her to get run over. Galadriel, go away. I just killed your, your sixth cousin. Oh, there goes your 27th cousin twice removed. She's way too close. She's way too close. No, get away. What are you doing? She's got a freaking death wish. You silly horse. Galadriel, get out of here. Get out. Bye. Goodbye. Go. Go save yourself. Look. Is that the driver? He's abandoning us. Oh, he's Old ditching God, us too. Take a look up front. What will you do? I'll figure it out. You okay? Yeah, they're they're fine. The driver really was like, they ain't paying me enough for this go shit. Try to start I'm this out. Train, see if we can get out of here. Damn it, you did run. Damn it, you did run. We saw him. Galadriel, you need to go. You need to go. You're making me so nervous. I don't want her running alongside the train. I can't actually run over. But I have always wanted to do this. Ha <laughs> ha, so satisfying. Galadriel, you're gonna run off the edge. You're gonna run off the edge. You're gonna... Oh, thank God. That was the longest train ride of my life. But it's okay. Galadriel is safe. Now that's all that matters. All that matters me and this has been way smoother looks like the game just needed a restart why have we stopped it's best you go on alone from here mr arthur i didn't know you could drive a train neither did i <laughs> but if i'm honest it was kind of fun <laughs> and i didn't kill any of us well, I yeah killed some of your relatives but yeah they would have killed all of us <laughs> you are a gentleman, sir. Oh, no, I ain't. Yes, you are. Here, I ain't got much money, but these sapphires are worth a lot of money. Old family heirloom. That Braithwaite treasure. That's the Braithwaite treasure? Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh, we got so much money. It matches her outfit. She's also probably now poor. She said she doesn't have a lot of money. I, I can't. I can't take this. I, Arthur, we can't accept this. I couldn't take it. I can't do it. No. I can't do it. Let's get you off to Boston before any more of your relatives show up. That might be wise. Hey, you there. Mm hmm This couple is heading up north to the Boston line. They got money. They'll pay you on arrival. That work for you? Yeah, sounds fine. Get on in. Hey, uh, 
You carry protection on a journey like this? <laughs> I wouldn't be much protection. of a stage driver if I didn't. Goes everywhere I do. Hey! <gasps> Miss Braithwaite is gonna hold on to this until arrival. Yeah. Yep. On account of the treasure on your person. I don't know how to thank you. You keep it. Uh -huh. You're a fine man, sir. Just get out of here. I'll leave. You whippersnappers. Yeah! Getting me in trouble. Look at that level of honor. I didn't even know. I didn't even know you could, like, get it that high. I was wondering if you could ever max it out, but now we have an answer. Yeah. I got, like, 13,000. You know, no big deal. Did we need another bracelet? What was the bracelet worth? Maybe, like, 50 bucks? Psh. Psh. I can make all that back by just murdering a bunch of Murphy brood dudes. Yeah. There we go. All right, where to next? We could kind of go back over here, head up north, finish this debt collector, see John J. Weathers. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, I can't see. It's too dark out here. Guess we're just going to have to figure it out. Oh, oh, my God. This is why we don't drive in the dark. This is why we don't drive in the dark. Oh my god, oh my god, sir, are you okay? Well, the horse is fine. Yeah, Galadriel's like, get the f out. Oh, he, the poor guy did not survive that little collision there. Oh, I feel so bad. I feel so bad. Oh my god, I am a danger to society. I'm a danger to myself. And now the sun's coming back up. We could have used that about five minutes ago. That guy could have used it about five minutes ago. Is there anything around here? What a day. I can't make this stuff up. I really can. I don't deserve to have a horse. Okay. I okay. just, I don't. I'm not afraid to admit it. You know, I just, I just get lost in the wonder and the beauty. And then the game's like, pay attention. Out of the way. Yeah, you guys Out might want to move aside. I am completely reckless. I wonder if there's anything fun that's here. No moonstone pot. I gotta check out the corpse. I always gotta check out corpses, okay? You never know what you're gonna find. Ah! For me, probably death. That's the only thing I'm gonna find. <laughs> Sheesh. I just wanna get up there. No. All right, I feel like with my luck today, we should probably just tackle this on foot. That ain't gonna happen, but we're gonna get up there. I don't know how we're gonna get up there, but we gonna get up there. Son of a biscuit. I've also never seen that structure before. I don't actually know if I've ever been through here anyway, so would I have ever had the chance to see it until now? Who knows? But I hope the dead body is still up there because I'm really curious. Uh, how, how in the heck? Okay, this has got to be the way. This has got to be the way. <gasps> oh! oh my God. I just see death everywhere now. <gasps> what? Mount Rushmore? Don't think so. Ooh, cool. Facing the cliff. He didn't want to finish the art. He didn't want to finish it. Sheesh. What a sad, sad view. Is there treasure in here though? Warmer room. Oh! <gasps> uh, hello? Hi? Uh. Did we just pick up a gold bar? What? Well, hold on a second. Was there a gold bar in there? It looked like there was a gold bar. Okay. Odd. But I didn't see the words gold bar. Anyway, I saw a shiny. 
Um, is there anything else up here that I can grab? That is so cool. I've never seen this before. Poor dude, though. Why did you do it? Why did you do it? I think you did a fantastic job. All right, how do I get down there safely now? All right. Before I break my legs, let's let's get to the next thing. All right, let's go see what this stranger is all about. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised to still see strangers here. Hey, you there? Hi. Who? What? Can you help? Sounds like you're in a tree. Where art thou? Oh! Not in a tree. Hi. Can you help me, mister? What's Absolutely. The, the goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? Your Second horse stole your leg. Buell cost me a leg. Huh? Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. Oh. I'll bear that in mind. And after that, you need a new horse. Okay. Where is this leg thief? Where is it? Ooh. I found it. I found the horse. And I'm pretty sure I can see the leg hanging off the horse, too. <laughs> There it is. Yep, that's it. That's it. What do you think you're doing? What do you think you're doing? Don't you kick me. Easy, easy. Never seen a horse with five legs before. Here we go. Yeah, there we go. Let's give that poor soul back his leg now, okay? Now come on, Dan. Let's get you back. This horse was a straight savage. Uh, Reminds me to take better care of mine. Yup. Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. No, you can't. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. I love his horse pep talks. They're so wholesome. Oh, Arthur. I wish he could have popped the squad a little bit closer, but, you know, I understand. We ain't far now. I'm gonna spook you here. Come on. You're not so nasty. Hello, sir. I found your leg. Well, and your horse. I found him. You're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. Oh. You're right. He's a brute. <sighs> Hamish Sinclair. Yeah, he's a great horse. Aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna <laughs> hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? No, I'm only nope, kidding. not gonna do that. <laughs> Thank you. I've seen way too many people kicked by their horse. Them. <laughs> You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah. How'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. Oh. Not much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me. Got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. So, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish, enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. That's the anyway, spirit. I ain't got much to pay you with. Uh, sir, it's totally fine. You know, I'm rich. That's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. Arthur. <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin's right over on the other side of Oak Cray's <gasps> Run there. 
Thanks again. Oh, cool. You I throw hope me you again, again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Well, no wonder he stole your leg. Uh, jeez. I'd steal his leg, too, if he talked to me like that. Um, Hamish. Okay, so this is not the last time we're gonna see him. Arthur, quit insulting your own fishing skills. Because, frankly, you insult yourself. You're insulting me. Mm, okay. Alright, let's go again. Let's go back to what we were doing. Collecting some debts. Grr. Grr. Please don't go yeah. real. Don't go stealing my leg. Why are these forces here? Oh! This is where I need to be. Oh. Odd. Oh. <laughs> well, there's that. I was like, hmm, I feel like I should set these, these horses free, but never mind. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever Snow they Goose. call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here, there won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. I ain't a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Oh, no. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, we're helping now. Seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll do what I can for you. Look at him just getting roped into all this stuff. Is this the law? Oh. Yeah, they don't like us very much. Ooh. Hey, ooh. We're on fire. Yeah, we'll say goodbye to it now. No! <laughs> Quick, blow it out! It's alright, my darling! You can come out! Oh, this is gonna... Yeah... I probably should have helped you fix the damn wagon. We could probably still save something. Really, now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. He's a softy, we can't do it! No! Arthur. Can't. Yeah, you know what. Absolve the debt? Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. I can't Go do on. this. You big softy. Thank you, fella. You know, there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you. I don't know nothing about kindness. I'm gonna literally cry. I'm literally gonna cry from that. That's just... To see his humanity really coming through and he's like... He's a family man. He's a sucker for a family, you know? <laughs> I, wish, I wish, like... He had offspring. I want a little Arthur Jr. So sad. Why, cruel world, why? Okay, where's this last? Oh, couple of the bodies needed to be looted. What's our honor look like now, though? Almost at maximum. This angel's about to get his wings. What's the quote? Every time you hear a bell ring, an Arthur Morgan gets his wings. It's a Wonderful Life, anybody? Only like the greatest holiday movie of all time, in my personal opinion. Where are we gonna go next? Should we go visit 
Charlotte. Yeah, you know what? Since everything's clustered around here, let's go out, go see Charlotte. Maybe one last time. Who knows, actually? I'm not quite sure. Um, should we stop by camp at all? Go maybe drop off, like, um, go drop off some food, maybe, for the camp? I don't know. The camp is so depressing. Let's just go see Charlotte. Okay, then, girl. Yep. The camp Come is on. too depressing for me right now. <laughs> and then look at, I mean, look at that. Jeez. All right, here we are again. Um, I don't know if I'm ever gonna... Hey, whoa. I was gonna say rob this place, but... Oh god, I thought she was murdering someone. Oh, hey there. Um, hi. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I... If we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I Do figured I it was a bit of time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. Oh! But the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about it. Aristotle, but um, well, I know I like a thing that. or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta uh, hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus. Breathe it's so slowly, cute. And always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Here. If I'll she doesn't you. fall in love with him, I think I will. Okay. Calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. Shoot a single bottle. Let's impress the lady. You make it look so easy. Oh, All right. You try now. Remember to breathe. Need to breathe out. Need to breathe out. Mmm. Which well, you got that blade of grass. Close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Really? Shoot on the exhale. Hmm. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. At the same time, let me eat a snack real fast because I'm hungry. Shoot three bottles. Say oh, some for the lady back. here. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. As my lady commands. Where are you going, you little rat? Huh? Huh? I got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my Hey, no, I saw it. I could have got it. Come on, come on. We'll train you so you can do it. Yeah! Yes! I hit it! High five! I hit it, didn't I? <laughs> Give the lady a high five. What can I say? Thank you. What can well, I, I say? I still have some of the rabbit left that You're I welcome. salted up. Would you join me for a meal? It's the least I can do. Ooh, what's, what's for Din Din? You had me at food. Uh, uh, well, Go your decor is getting the in the way. Food is just about done. Ooh, we got a date. Arthur still got game. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it after Delicious. all. Delicious. <laughs> bon appetit. Oh. Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. 
There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. Cool. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. True. We're both true. born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. Sounds just awful. So many people, so many things. I was lost in it, I was crushed mm -hmm. by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. No. Well, you can still be whatever you want. I reckon you're gonna be just fine. Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> Thank you. For it that. is so hard. I to think it's, it's best if I if I make deteriorate. <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. I just had an overwhelming thought, and it might be really, really sad. I'm probably gonna tell you anyway. Do you leave us a note? My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Oh. Please take care. And remain true to the man I know you are. This is this is what he needed in his life. This is the type of interaction and like love that he needed from somebody. So some more red dead depression and coming, okay? If you don't want to hear it, skip ahead. I, I don't blame you. Bill stack, Ooh, okay. Hundred doll hairs plus twenty five doll hairs. Let's go. I see what they're doing now. I see it. It's bloody genius. Okay, here's what they're doing. So they made this game. They were like, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna get our audience to fall so deeply and madly in love with this character called Arthur Morgan. Then he's gonna get like this terminal disease and he's going to get diagnosed and you know, it's gonna be the the end of that and then we're gonna, like, we slowly see him deteriorate. And it's like watching your family get this diagnosis and then watching them slowly kind of wither away. That's what this feels like. Maybe on a lesser scale, but like, it still elicits that emotion. And it's bloody genius. It confronts you with this really uncomfortable situation that none of us want to go through ever ever that we can all collectively say sucks for lack of a better word and and it's just something that we know we have to come to terms with we know we have to kind of accept it and it's both a beautiful thing that they've done and also just so gut-wrenching it's so sad so red dead depressing all right, let's go do some more money collecting. Yep. Even though, again, like, we don't need money. But the game just keeps throwing money at us. And I'm just dodging it, because, like, good person, you know? Ironic, because, like, I kind of continue to murder people in this game. But, you know, it, it, this mor morality is, is blurred in this game. Anyway, enough of my ridiculous analysis. Hi. Okay, there. Oh, well, thank you very much. I'm so sorry. Continue your harmonica. Keep to yourself. I 
The f you say to me, move along. I'm listening to some music. This is what the kids call music nowadays. It's on this little contraption called the harmonica. And we don't need your sass. I'm about to start throwing singles. <gasps> Why am I the way that I am? I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes you just- I love these random moments, you just gotta have fun with it. Excuse me, sir. Oh, uh, yeah, you're just rude. Some people are just miserable. Find Arthur- oh! My twin! Londonderry. Arthur Londonderry. Alright then. You got any business at the mine? Yes. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry, I was told he works here. Londonderry? You'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Oh, well, thank you. Oh, God. If anything goes south, I'm shooting the dynamite. I'm shooting the dynamite. I don't want any funny business. I will bring this whole cave down. Arthur? No, foreman. Arthur London there. Here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> the man's dead. What's wrong with you? Oh, boy. You can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> what the hell does you that mean? You ought to be mean? ashamed of yourself. Hey. I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Ooh. Wow. Oh, ooh, lockbox, yes. Come on, have something in here. Nothing. There's all these lockboxes down here, but they have nothing in them. All right, how? What's you? Freak you, sir. Hey, move. move. It's too dark down here, so I can't. Man, that's so sad. On your way now. It's weird though, thinking that like, you know, under normal circumstances, we're gonna come here, find the guy, probably beat the snot out of him to get some money, and like, he's sitting there like sticking up for him, because the guy was being all rude because he was dead. It's just so weird. Such a moral dilemma. All right, here we are. I bet you there's gonna be some trouble here. Some foreshadowing. I've passed by this cabin many times. You gonna pack all your stuff, Angel? I don't wanna go. It'll be an adventure? I don't want an adventure. I want my daddy. Oh. Be brave, <coughs> sweet angel. Uh, Mrs. Londonderry. Be brave. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. Job's Just, getting harder. We lent Arthur some money, you see, and so it was you. You son of a bitch. What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies? What little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave mm. everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister! Absolve the dead and give money? <laughs> All these opportunities to like do the right thing, I feel so much better. Uh, I just wanted to say the debt's canceled and to uh, here, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money, and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently. Like, not threaten a man. I think we will. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. 
I really am. We're slowly turning things around. On my heart. Oh. Emotions, man. Okay, my girl. This game, destroying them. Destroying them. There will be nothing left. I will be a shell. Alright. Let's go talk to... Ooh, I think I can still donate something, though. Even though it's dark out. How are you doing in all this? I can't? Okay. What? I'm here to bring you some food. People in here are starving. Is he all, is he all the way over there? Okay. Strauss. Hey. No more of this. We're done. Ah. How did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us if we could be shamed any more than we already are. That Holy. should do. Uh, go. I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job. You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Uh. <sighs> Take that. Take that and get lost. Wow. I'm leaving. Wow, Arthur. Fifty dollars worth it. You know. Susan? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Someone smashed the box. What box? The money box. We'd had that for so what? many years. Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, yeah. Me too. Me too. Well, the money box is now gone, and we just threw out our money person. Goodbye, farewell. Goodbye, farewell. She's a hardy flash packet. The dreadnought's her name. Hurrah, me boys. The singing around the campfire now hits differently. She sails to the westward. Where stormy winds oh, let's go donate some food real fast before I forget. Dang. Could really use some good meat for this stew. Oh, I got you, Batwing. Just make sure it goes into the pot. Stringy meat. Not your pot. <laughs> There's a ram hide, animal fat. I know I got some more stuff. Give them this. this now, Pearson. Cool. Elk antler. Okay, we're better on food now. We have no medicine, though, but why is that? I don't think I can thanks, buy more. All right, I'm going to go sleep until the morning. Hobby? I promise you the world while they rob the bread off your plate. Listen, I know Dutch been a little erratic recently. A little? I know what went on in Blackwater? Well, none of us is pretending that was something nice. But I guess, the way I see it, we're still here. And he's still right. I mean, look, you're all free to think 
what you want to think, but for me, I still believe in him. Because, well, well careful, huh? he did what he did. But he did it for love. For all of us. Yes, I feel bad. They didn't deserve that. But listen, I just think, and I've been thinking about this a lot, I just think Dutch loves us. And being loved, well, we're gonna be okay. I sure hope so. But love will make you do some crazy things. So, I hope Javier's right. Let's go to sleep. Until the morning. Nighty night, Arthur. Sleep tight. And good morning. I definitely think we should... Reverend, I think you did the right thing with Harold huh? Strauss. It was time. Wow. Thank you. I wasn't expecting him to agree. Okay. Guess I'll leave you to it then. Be well. Uncle. Another damn morning. That How is true. You doing? Everything's falling apart. What How's your lumbago? I'm just hang in there, okay? Uh-huh. Okay. Um Bo Pearson making food, maybe? Morning. I know things seem bad. Morning. We're gonna die here. We're gonna. Don't oh wow. Give up just yet. Wow. Where's the hope? It was time for Strauss to go. It was. Sure. I won't miss him. There's a few others should go too. Who is he talking about? Can't imagine. Susan, does he? What? I wonder what he. Now I'm curious to know what he thinks about everybody. Who is he talking about that needs to go? Well, Micah for one. We all know he does not want Micah around anymore. Mary Beth, she can stay. You okay, Mary Beth. Are you okay, Arthur? What happened with Strauss? Oh no. There's nothing else for him left here. Just taking out the trash. Maybe not for the rest of us neither. Yep. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. I'll leave you to it. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. I think we should go back into Annisburg. Because we got a Edith quest there. Let me see everything real fast. We got an Edith quest. And then might as well finish up today with Micah. Unfortunately. But they're in the same place. So why not? Two birds with one stone. All right, let's go. Whoa. Wait, 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 wait. This gives me Blair Witch vibes. Oh, they're dream catchers. Okay. Since when have those been a thing? There's 20 of these? Oh, well, heck. Now I gotta keep a lookout for something else. I saw that and instantly reminded me of the Blair Witch Project, which up until I saw the movie Hereditary, great movie, watch it if you're a horror nut. Favorite movie up until I watched Hereditary, though. This is the, one. the the Blair Witch Project is my favorite. Now some more people need to die today. When will you people stop? When will you people stop? Alright, well, my aim is not really all that great right now. We're just gonna peace out. I love that that Murphy brood keeps picking on the wrong Arthur. What? Woo! Did I. W are you one of the fellas that I licked your leg to? I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one time. Sounds like quite a day. Here's an idea Gunsmith's friend. Free shit, hell yeah! Oh my gosh! I'm gonna go spend the money right now. God, I love sucking on these people's legs. It is so rewarding. Hey friend, what do you need? 
Man in town named Jenkins owes me. So yes, he does. Put something on his tab. Jenkins, huh? All right, take a look around. All right, take a look around. Oh, I will. I'll buy up everything. Okay. Ooh, what should we do? Showfield revolver. Let's have. Let's get something that I don't. Well, obviously, currently have. What about the Evans repeater? Is that any good? I don't really think. I think the Lancaster is generally considered one of the best. Uh, yeah. So it has a little bit better damage. I'm pretty sure just all around better stats. Um, so we're gonna stick with that one as our main. Sawed off shotgun. I don't have a Carcano car rifle. Can't even pronounce it. Repeating shotgun. Fire this gun 10,000 times and see. Ooh. Hold on. I'm going to keep that one in mind because I might want this. Look at the damage on that. I don't think it's got the best damage. But let me see. But it, it's it's up there. I would say the double barrel probably has the most, or the sawed off shotgun probably has the most. But let's fill out our shotgun arsenal and let's do the repeating shotgun. I I have this. No, it's it's probably the semi automatic shotgun that I have. So let's buy a gun. Let's so noted. You have a good day now. Customize it, yes, please. Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, long barrel. Accuracy. Rifling. We did that already. Um, iron sights. Yup. Stock. Boom, boom, boom. Does it matter? Why? Oh, this is just the grain. Ooh, that looks sick. Yeah, I like that one. Wrap. Do we... Do we want to? Yeah, let's put a wrap on for this one. Okay, styles, metals. All right, which one stick? Let's do something that we haven't really done before. The black looks really good. The blue, nickel, iron, silver, gold. I do kind of think the black looks really cool. I think let's go with the black and steel or. Do I have a blue gun? Let's do blue. Blue with like maybe like a white accent. Huh? There's nickel and there's iron and there's this. Let's do white. Let's go silver for this too. Let's go blue for that. Hmm. So blue and then let's go mm, let's go white I kind of like the, the the contrast all right engravings anything that one this one kind of looks cool inlay materials let's go white Oh, that's already on there. Carvings. Do we want a carving for this one? I kind of like the eagle. And leather. What is going to go well with the blue, though? Hmm. This one probably makes the most sense, though, because it kind of has like, this bluish tint to it. So let's just let's go with the chocolate. And then, oh my gosh, is there going to be a good wood color that kind of goes with that rosewood something okay ebony kind of looks cool wow cherry dark walnut kind of looks cool too mm, i like the bluish uh bl bluish jeez bluish hue of the ebony so let's go with that and it looks cool with the yeah, yeah, it looks kind of sick. I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it. Let's just make it all blue. Okay, we're gonna keep this white, though. That looks awesome. 
and then the tr yeah you know what i actually like that better i like that a heck of a lot better um I really don't understand why I put an engraving on there if I just, you know what, so then that makes me want to take the leather off. Oh, here we go. No wrap. I think that looks better. I don't think this one needs a, a, a thing, a wrap, a leather. Yep. There we go. All right, let's go. Go talk to Edith. Got another free gun. There it is. On my back. I love it. Where's Edith? There's Edith. Whoop. Nope. Not getting in there. Whoops. 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 No, thank you. I don't need the paper today. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. It won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. Aw. Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fellow down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, we'll address. I'll see what I can do. We gotta go rescue Edith. Alright. What are you doing? What? what? I, Galadriel, go home. You're, you're flipping. You're drunk. You're, you're drunk. That's. <laughs> I I don't know. I've come across many glitches in this game, and that's got to be one of the funnier ones. <laughs> Why? Search for a trail at the bridge. Why would we be at the bridge? Is it underneath the bridge? I don't like the look of this. I don't like the look of this at all. Follow the trail, unknown animal. Well, hold on, what trail are we talking about here? There's an animal trail. Or is that the trail you're talking? Okay, all right. I'm gonna follow this one. Got, ooh, you know what? I have the repeating shotgun, but just in case I don't end up liking it. Oh, whoops. Um. Let's get a different gun, just in case. Get my trusty Lancaster. I do want to use this, though. Oh, wait! There it is. Forgot about the trail. I see a horse. Hmm. Not. Well, that's enough now, partner. Oh, no. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. Who are you? Someone who are, are you? Your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. No, you won't. Yeah. You're nasty. Yes. Listen to me. <coughs> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. Did he give it to us? And I'm suffering for my foolishness, but... Don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son, Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. You can't give up now. 
Ask? Demand what? Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Where you turn over a new leaf. Come on, Mrs. Downs. Hurry on up, Mrs. Downs. All right, we're burning daylight, Mrs. Downs. Let's go. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> So you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No, I ain't looking for that. Okay then, so just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Kendall said this still be healed. like very similar. Well, help yourself. I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. You're right to dislike me. Yeah, but... I ain't looking for that to change. Woo, okay, whoops. That, you know, that's one of my favorite quotes from The Lord of the Rings is... He says something to that effect. All we can really do is choose what we want to do with the time that we're given. That might become my first tattoo. But it'll be the be Edith Downs version. Alright. Shall we get off, my lady? My lady? Yes. Alright. Found your madre. Mama! Mama! Oh, oh. oh, oh. oh you silly boy. Oh, Oh, we do. Get out of here. Get out. Go. Live someplace else. Start over. Here. Take this. I don't need it no more. I don't want your money. Yeah, I know you don't want it. I don't. You sure as shit need it. Take it. No. I ain't looking take for forgiveness. It. it ain't about that. Don't forgive me. Just take the money and get out of here. Please. I know I ruined your life. I suffer for it every day. But don't let yourself get killed for for pride, I've seen it kill too many folk. Don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. This has just been a giving video. You've been so charitable and philanthropic. I feel, even though our circumstances are very bad, I feel like we are making things right, and I, it makes me feel like, deep down, it actually makes me feel really good. All right, Micah. All right, where is he? Oh, Jesus Christ! Was you followed? No. Was you followed? I said no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <coughs> what is your problem? What is your problem, partner? You don't, uh, you don't look so good. What is wrong with you? Nothing wrong with me. I'm fit as a fiddle. Yeah, and I inside you ain't. I'm just a realist, friend. Micah reckons there's a rat. Oh, does he? Mm -hmm. On what evidence? He's only back a minute. Pinkerton show up. <laughs> We've been on the run Ooh. since you two fools went crazy in Blackwater. We barely escaped with our lives in San Denis. Now we got a rat. Well, Molly clearly talked, but who else? Maybe we pushed things too hard. Whoa. Maybe time for folks like us has passed. We don't need a rat. We got sloppier than the town drunk, and they know who we are, and where we are, and what we're doing. The way I see it, the best thing we can do is let the week go. Move on, get our money, and start over. That ain't happening. Well, something's gotta happen, and fast. Otherwise, Cornwall, them Pinkertons, they've got us panned in here, and ain't none of them stopping. 
Well, Cornwall's why we're here. Shall we, Dutch? Yeah, it's time to go. Let's head to the river. Oh, leave Cornwall alone. He ain't. <laughs> we need money. But revenge? Now? Of course it's for money. Come on, Arthur. This better not be no stupid revenge mission, Dutch. It ain't worth it. Don't be ridiculous. Oh, Arthur, it's just a simple social call. <laughs> Crazy how Hosea died, and then Arthur has just taken on the role now of the... The voice of reason. So what are we gonna say to him that needs to be said? He has been hunting us since Valentine. He is the reason that Hosea got killed. His sugar business is destroying the people of Guarma. This town, Arthur, is his town. He bought it just to destroy these folks. His sugar, his oil, sugar. his law. These are wrongs. You Turn can't about sugar. Cry. Dutch? Sugar or like booger sugar? Hand. Like there's hmm. two white so powders here. Go for John against my wishes. I didn't want him hanged. Neither did I. We're gonna cut a deal, Arthur. What are you talking about? We want out, and Cornwall wants us to stop robbing him, and we all know his money is what's keeping the Pinkertons on our tail. He's America, Arthur. And I want out. And he he won't let us go. This ain't making a lot of sense, Dutch. It will, son. It will. A deal. Look at all the noise, oil in the water. And then we're gone. Wow. So many things remind me of Ohio. This this river will probably catch fire too if we if we lit one. Cornwall's boat is due in soon. Let's get down here behind these crates. Yacht or boat thing it looks like a yacht. I want to thank you for your hospitality, Mr. Cornwall. This was a business meeting, Mr. Milton. We are not friends. I have spent a considerable fortune with your agency and still nothing. This Vanderlyn robs me and laughs at me. I asked for the best. I paid for the best. We are very close, Mr. Cornwall. I know you've heard this before. Can't, sir. Send a telegram to Goldberg in New York. Tell him I won't borrow it more than 3.2%. Sorry, no, I have heard it before. And get that army man to pay his portage charge. Yes, sir. We are doing all we can within the confines of the law. The law? I think we both know what you can do with your law. Find me Dutch Vanderlyn. Bring him here and leave the laws to them as need them. Good day, sir. Come along, Mr. Ross. We have work to do. Mr. Didsbury. Mr. Cornwall. Now listen up, Didsbury. What's all this about strikes? I bought into this mine because of mismanagement. And I intend to make it a success, no matter what the cost. It's the wages. Folk feel Folk that you... feel? Business doesn't give two figs about feelings, sir. Not two figs. It's a nonsense that will bring a plague on both our houses, sir. Perhaps there is a plague on your house already, Mr. Cornwall. What do you want, sir? I'm not quite sure just yet. Your impudence will be your undoing, sir. I'm undone already. Even my best friend here, he thinks I'm crazy. And like this poor fellow you are talking to, my feelings are hurt. You robbed me, sir. And you robbed him. Funny world. You show a criminal's grasp of sophistry, sir. I did no such thing. You kill. I kill. Who's you the robbed. real criminal here? I rob. Only difference I can see yeah. is I choose whom I kill and rob and you destroy everything in your path. I've heard just about <laughs> enough. I'll tell you what. You give me this ship, $10,000, and safe passage out of here, I'll let you in. Dutch. <laughs> I'll do no such thing. <laughs> you sure? Good. I prefer it this way. Ooh! You lost your land. Noise, Arthur. Oh. <laughs> God, what is happening? Oh, shit. 
Dutch is crazy. Dutch is crazy. I mean, we didn't like him, but... Oh. Wait, do I... Why am I not dual wielding? This is so cool. I feel so cool holding these guns. Josh, you're you're absolutely nuts. You're off your rocker. Eat him. Oh, nice. Ooh. Love those slow mo shots. There's another one. Where, where, where? Oh, there. Okay, now we're just one shot in them. Oh, that's Micah? I don't know, shot Micah. Come on, this way, up the stairs. Yeah, I'm right behind you in your red vest. I know, I know. I was just a little bit of a picky mug. Pick me up for the road. <laughs> okay, now, so like Cornwall's dead. The Invisible's dead. I can't remember who really is left. Trust? That's a difficult word right now. No problem. I love this gun. Oh! It's not because I looted, is it? You sure you got the lungs for this, Morgan? Shut, <laughs> the Shut up, Micah. So I can't hear you over all the shooting. What? This wasn't a revenge mission. It wasn't. We got what we came for. Are they shooting a turret at it? Like, what is this? Oh no 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 that's the that's the hole. I don't know where I'm shooting at right now. Oh man. Feels like a maze. Shoot that oil wagon? Um this one? <laughs> Yep. Get out of here. Come on. We can take the horses from that coach. Great idea. Who's gonna drive? I hope not me. Oh. Well, at least we tried talking it out. Boys, lost your minds. Oh, I felt a lot of guilt in this life, Arthur. I've killed too often and poorly. Not this time, son. Come on! All right, Ooh. let's head for the hills, boys. They're trying to Do not feel home. something oh, after my. killing somebody. Is that ever a good thing? Stop. Even for outlaws? Look out! We got more ahead! Right behind you guys. It's funny to see how I use Deadeye at the beginning of the game all the time, and now I like very rarely use it. I kind of, you know, don't need it. It's fun without it. Okay, cool. Oh, sometimes it is helpful though. Yeah. Got him. You don't need my help. Look out, fellas! They're still coming. Shoot the bastard. Got him. See, 
dead, he's dead. Social call. Oh, don't play dumb and superior at the same time, Morgan. We all knew sooner or later Cornwall had to go. Let me see them papers. It's more attention we don't need. Feels like the whole world's closing in on us. Dutch, it won't be long before they find where we're hiding out now. Especially as we ain't exactly hiding out. We just need a distraction. Buy us some time. Is there? A, is that a rock painting right behind us? It looks like Mr. Cornwall's company has signed a railroad contract with the army. And they're also moving dynamite down from, well, the Annisburg mines to San Denis to resell. And there's bonds at his oil factory. Maybe there's a way to get them off our back and get the money that we need. Mike. You look into this dynamite. Take Bill, I guess, Arthur. You go, too. We are gonna need a lot of it. And, Mike, we need to talk. Figure out some things. Of course, boss. Figure out what? The plan. What plan? Getting out of here. Still. Nothing's changed. It hasn't, huh? There's an old house west of Van Horn. Meet me there when you can, Black Lung. Let's split up. We'll meet up back at camp. Yeah. Mike is trash. Oh, come on. Tell me that there's a rock thingy. I could have swore there was like a rock thing right behind us. Really? Could have swore I saw some sort of drawings on the wall. Well, okay then. What to do for next time so we can go back to camp. We got a reverence. Oh, who's this? Oh, Hamish, that guy. And then I know that there's still another quest that we can do, but we can only do it at nighttime, and that's the mayor. Uh, mayor Lemieux. Um, I know that there's still some more side quests that we can do out in Valentine, so I have to remember that. Let me take a look at my journal one last time. <coughs> yes, we got Hamish Sinclair, Henry, and then the O oh Brother, Where Art Thou quests. What was this one? Oh, are they still going? I wonder if we have to go back to Rhodes for them, because I know that that's the first time we met them, was just outside of Rhodes. Hmm. I'll have to look into that. Thank you guys so much for watching this super depressing episode of Red Dead Depression 2. <laughs> Even with all the really sad things happening right now, I hope you find still some happiness, some joy, some humor in the playthrough. But it is weird to really see everything changing now. But even though there was a lot of sad things that happened, I feel like there's a lot of really good things that happened during this episode. We gave a lot of things away. We get a lot of money. We gained so much honor. I think I'm as close to maxing out the honor bar as you can probably get, which has me intrigued. Like, what does that mean for us? What, what does the honor system really have anything to do with this game. I haven't really seen any sort of indication that it really changes anything, just maybe we are just a better person for it. But this was definitely a charity video if I've ever seen one, just fat stacks, just making it rain on everybody. If you guys enjoyed this episode and if you're looking forward to the next, hopefully several, I've, I do hope that we can get a lot more videos out of this game because I'm just I love it so much that I, I'm not ready for it to end. But if you're excited to see the ending up until the ending, make sure to like, subscribe, click that bell button to get notified for all future episodes. Also, make sure to check out all the links down below in the description. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you next time.